Are you ready to take glass and 3D and create something truly remarkable? We'll be creating real 3D glass motion graphics right here in After Effects and it's incredibly easy to make. So let's get started. All right, let's start with the clickbait example here, <laughs> but we'll also go through other normal examples on how to use glass. So you can type out a white title and I'm gonna use the font Monument Extended, but of course the font choice doesn't matter. But what does matter is that you make the layer 3D and then you pop over to the advanced 3D renderer. Now you may extrude the text and absolutely use the bevel style convex and set it to 10. Now that we have some 3D, we can use the ellipse tool to create a circle mask while holding shift. Then we can go to the path options and set it to mask one. You know, it looks like mush, but this will be the technique that revolves our text around a 3D circle path. Now come here to animate and enable per character 3D, and then go back and add a rotation. You can set the animator's X rotation to exactly 90 degrees, and then go to the regular X rotation under transform and set it to negative 90 degrees. You know, we're cooking something here. But to visualize this better, create a camera and then use the orbit around cursor tool to essentially angle down on this for a optimal view. And it's best practice to add in and have up to three copies of your text when you're creating a loop like this. Then, you know, when you're ready, perhaps we can scale this down by a bit and then go to the mask. Hit Control T or Command T and expand the mask outward until your title evenly fits the entire circle design. Great. Now to animate this, let's go to first margin and alt click the stopwatch and use something like time asterisk 100 and this will spin baby. Additionally, try offsetting the Y rotation to angle this like so. But all right, let's go ahead and do that glass effect. To create glass, go to animate and add front color opacity. Then under the new add option, throw in a side opacity and a back opacity. So you should have these three settings. Now lower the front and back opacity to around 40% and the side opacity to around 80%. And that's the glass effect, but now it's on us to actually make this look beautiful. And ensure you always produce beautiful work in no time for our free templates, seamless transitions, and customizable motion graphics. All here in our Motion Duck extension, you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into your project and tailor them to fit your needs in seconds. So be sure to keep your creative flow going with our countless assets linked below. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting my channel. So thank you very much. All right, to make this look amazing, let's go to the material options of your text and increase the specular shininess to 100% and lower the metal by a touch. And these settings by itself is given that great reflective glass look. However, it's good practice to create an environment light to cast shadows and to connect images to the light source, or even better, use HDRs to help the overall look of your glass in no time. And as a result, you can see these reflective clouds or the image that you use right here in the glass. Additionally, the specular shininess and the metal settings can be changed as well because, you know, nothing is set in stone, or should I say glass? All right, <laughs> that was dumb. But since this is 3D, we can put objects in the middle of this design. For instance, I have a stock element of the statue in which I can make 3D and that will instantly put this in the middle of our scene. And you should probably turn off accept lights on your media assets as well. And clearly, you know, we can see right through the glass. Awesome. But to add a little bit of texture to it, let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer and add the scatter effect. Set the amount to around 300 and then place the adjustment layer under your assets and then set the track mat of the adjustment layer to your text and please turn your text back on. Now duplicate your footage and place the copy underneath the adjustment layer and we get a little bit of a texture and those subtle details just make it look a little bit more nice. But now that we have an awesome scene under our belt, these same techniques can be applied to normal 3D text and motion graphics. First, for normal text, all the opacity settings are gonna be the same, but you'll probably wanna use something like a studio HDR for a more clear look. And this is also an opportunity to animate the light's rotation values to give your reflections some movement. Again, depending on your scene, the metal and specular shininess might need to vary for the best results. Additionally, you can animate text by adding in a rotation or any property like so. Then offset your text and animate the range selector right here to animate your text in. You can also randomize the order of your animation underneath the advanced tab. Now, depending on your background, you may want to lower the scatter amount, but all the principles are pretty much the same. So essentially the glass effect is somewhat achievable for shapes, but 
without the ability to control the opacity of the front and sides, you know, it's a bit limiting. However, with say a stroke circle that will make 3D, I can set the bevel depth to 50 and the style to convex. Then by using two views here with a top view, we can lower the opacity of the layer and then we can scale, reposition and resize it to fit the text inside of this now glass tube. Of course, set the specular shines to 100% and for the text, I would turn off the opacity animators and set the metal to 0% with the diffuse to 100% to brighten up the title. Looks awesome, subscribe to be the best, and always be creating.